So about a month ago we got a new DLC in which we got a new business called the Salvage Yard. And there are quite a few parts to this business and it could get confusing. So today we will cover robbery missions, tow truck business and the safe part so you can easily become a pro at running this new Salvage Yard business. First off, to start the business you will need to go to the Y marker on the map to contact the Yusuf which is the sole creator of the business. After talking to him you will have to go into the Maze Bank foreclosure website to buy the property. There are 5 locations you can choose from, 2 of which are far away north and are cheaper but I will highly recommend buying any of the 3 in the city since majority of the missions will be in the city and you won't have to travel as far. I personally chose one right in the center of the city for convenience purpose. When you choose a location you will get few upgrade options. Trade rates which will make Morse mutual claims and repair in LS customs cheaper. Tow truck which will allow you to do the tow business part and more on that later. Wall save which will increase how much your safe can hold and it is not worth to buy at all. And staff upgrade which will double how quickly a car can be scrapped from the tow truck missions. I personally would only pick the tow truck for the money making aspect and staff so you can tow cars more often. Now let's get into what will make you the most amount of money, the robbery missions. There are 5 different missions, the Duggan robbery, the gangbanger robbery, the cargo ship robbery, the podium robbery and the mctony robbery. But there is no way to tell what missions you will get since they are not dependent on what car are you stealing. Only unfortunate part of all of this is that you will only be able to complete these robberies 3 times a week and then you will have to wait until Thursday since it's the day the week resets for 3 new robbery missions. The missions are quite like the auto shop contract where you have the prep missions and then a finale. The missions themselves will take about 30 to 40 minutes to complete and make you anywhere from 260 to $405,000 but more about how you are going to get paid later. If you are doing the missions for the first time you will have to do the scope out missions as well which will require you to go and scope out the place where you will be stealing the car from but after that when you repeat the same mission again you will no longer need to do the scope out missions. All the missions are self explanatory and you will know how to do them really fast but for the more complicated missions I will explain how to complete them later in the video. So now now about the planning screen. On the planning screen you will see required missions and optional missions. The missions will require you to go to different places to collect items needed for the stealing mission. I will suggest only doing the required part since the optional missions don't do much apart from taking one star of the wanted level on the finale missions and there is an easier way to lose the wanted level which I will also talk about later. And then there are tasks which don't need to be started they are just on the map marked as this green duffel bag. You need to go to them to start the mission and when you start it Jamal will call you and he will send you to a spot near where you are to search for stuff needed for the mission. And majority of the time you will just be searching for that duffel bag which you will need to bring back to the salvage yard to complete the missions. As always I will highly suggest using Oppressor Mark II or at least some kind of helicopter to complete all these missions since it will be much quicker and for some missions homing rockets on these vehicles will come really handy. After all the setups are complete you get to the finale where all your hard work goes to stealing a car. When you successfully steal the car you will have to go back to your salvage yard to complete the finale. In some missions you won't get cops on you and it will be a breeze to bring the car back. But in others you will get 4 stars instantly. Oh no! Gringe! <laughs> My recommendation would be to still drive back to the salvage yard not caring about any police and when you are there just spawn in your Mark II or helicopter since you can use your personal vehicles in the finale and fly as high as possible to lose the police. Just be mindful of police helicopter cones of vision so you don't get in them since the police helicopters will spawn at the height you are at. After you lose the wanted level just dive down to your car and easily complete the mission. Now after completing the robbery you will notice that apart from the bonus tasks which you can complete for extra money you don't get the money for the car that you just stole. But that's just because you still have the car and now you have a big decision to make. Either sell it or scrap it. And honestly there is only one correct answer. 
and that is to sell it since it will give you much more money and if you decide to scrap it it will take up one car lift which will interfere with the tow truck business part of it. When you sell it it's just a simple mission where you will have to go to the same dock location every time to deliver the car. And the same rules apply as in other car delivery missions where if you hit something the car will lose some value. But since the road there is wide and without much traffic you should be fine driving there with no problem. And when you deliver it then you will get the money you were working so hard for. Another great way to make money is through the tow truck business park. When buying the salvage yard you will have an option to choose your tow truck. The rusty beater is as I know a little bit slower but it's half the price of the nice one. So if you are tight on money go for the beater. To activate tow truck missions just jump in your tow truck and start the mission. The missions are quick and fun. They will send you to a location where you will have to pick up a car and then deliver it back to the salvage yard. You can do two tow missions back to back but then you will have to wait full in game day which is 45 minutes in real time until you can do more towing since the two car lifts will be occupied and that's why I earlier said to not scrap the cars from robbery missions. From the tow truck tows you will only get paid after the vehicles are scrapped and you can expect from 30 to 40 thousand dollars per car. The payout depends on the type of car and this is a list of all the payouts which I will link down below. Bonus thing is that you can repaint your tow truck in the color you want. With all the other stuff in the office part of the garage you also get a save which generates money. You can expect to earn 24 thousand dollars every day that is one in real life day and with the tow truck missions the safe earnings are expected to get bigger but it is still hard to tell since nobody really knows how much it adds. As I mentioned earlier, not all missions are self-explanatory or there are better ways to do them. That's why I'm going to give some tips on specific missions so you can do them easily. In the podium vehicle robbery, you have a third duffel bag task and it is quite confusing since on the map there are only two duffel bag icons. But there is still a third task you need to do and for that you will have to go to the casino. And you can see that above the casino logo there is an icon for the duffel bag missions. When you go inside Inside the casino, Jamal will call you and tell you to plant a bomb on one of the toilets in the bathroom and after that the mission is complete, you won't have to go back to the scrapyard to finish it. Also during the finale mission where you will have to find the elevator hatch, when you get to the end of the hallway it looks like a dead end but you can actually go through this door to get to the elevator hatch which isn't that apparent if you don't know that you need to go here specifically. And when I played this mission for the first time I just ran past it so Hopefully that helps you not to get lost. For the cargo ship robbery in the finale missions where you have to go to the ship and sneak onto it and go to the helm if you have an oppressor mark 2 or a helicopter you can fully skip through this part and fly straight from your salvage yard to the helm which will be much quicker. The Duggan robbery is not that hard but I just wanted to mention that for the VIP pass setup mission you don't need to be stealthy and using weapons will actually make this mission easier since you won't need to dodge the cameras and there will be only a few police officers that spawn so it is easy to shoot out of. Besides this mission, in the bypass module task you don't need to have the rockets to destroy the signal jammers, you can just shoot them with your sniper and they will explode. Unfortunately, since you can only do 3 missions per week, I wasn't able to get a gangbanger robbery so if there are any tips for it, I will make sure to upload a short and link it in this video's pinned comment so you can see it. So that's it, hopefully it helps you complete all the missions and understand the salvage yard business a bit more. Tell me in the comments how do you like the new salvage yard business, is it good or not? If you found this video useful, please subscribe and I will see you lovely people in the next one. Have a wonderful day! You can just shoot them with your sniper. I fucked that up. On these vehicles will come. <gasps> I I ran out of air.